we might want to use it as a little pocket. Okay, this is the remaining section that you have left. And again, my text is going across, so I want to work my lines that way, although you could have them going the other direction too since this is going to be a pocket, but this is just what I want to do right now. So we're going to put it in with the 9 inch piece at the top of the score, scoreboard and we are going to score at 4, we are going to score at 8, and we're going to score at 8.5. Okay? Then we're going to rotate it, and it, yeah, rotate it so the area that you want to use as the flap on the envelope is to your left. Okay, let's get this one out. This would be the flap. So if there's a pattern or there's something that you want to uh, maintain, then we're going to score with the flap to the left. So we're going to come in here and we're going to score it two and a half all the way across. We're going to score at seven and a half. Okay? And that's all the scoring on this. So put the page right side up again with your nine inch piece at the top and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come down here let's get rid of these pieces I've started to cut you're going to have a score line score lines intersecting down here in this lower right hand corner just make a diagonal cut up to that last score line and you're going to cut all the way up that last score line until you get right up in here and then you're going to do a diagonal cut to there, okay? Then we're going to turn it and you are going to cut on this score line up to the score, which is now a horizontal score. Then we're going to turn it and we're going to cut right inside that score line and there's where our tag's going to come from for our little little envelope. And this is what you have left. What we're going to do is come back down here. This is that half inch score line. Make a diagonal cut into that at the score line, stop of the score line. Come this way. Make a diagonal cut to that score line that is coming down and then we want to trim off this bottom corner too up to the score line okay that's it we're done with cutting yay now all we have to do is fold this little puppy up and we're going to do that by folding these flaps up here on the bottom it's going to be the bottom of your envelope and you're going to have a double flap area down here just to kind of give it some more breathing space. Also, my thought was if you are going to punch this, put it, I mean put it in your um, binding machine, then that gives you a little more uh, support down here in this section too. So this is what it looks like with those folded and then we're going to fold this one in. Burnish it. Then we're going to fold this one over. And now we've created our little pocket. I don't want you to put it together yet though. What we're going to do on your flap section First thing I want to do is round off my edges with my old fashioned, I think these are Fiskars. I've had these for years and years and years. That's why I haven't bought another pair 
I should probably get a crop of dial, but I like my big bite. So what we're going to do is we're going to do that roll top desk effect on the flap here. So face up. You can go ahead and leave it all folded up. There's nothing underneath here where we're going to be scoring. So you can see your original score line. Just score at 1 8 inch increments out to about 6. Yeah, let's do 1 inch worth. So we're going to go out to 6. And now this is going to create a roll. You don't have to do this if you just want to fold your flap over. It's already scored. But I'm putting a bigger tag in here than just coming to here. Where's my tag? Come here, taggy, taggy. Here we go. Um, and it looks like it's a little bit too big for the pocket. May have to trim it down. But anyway, it's not too big. It's the same size. That's interesting. Anyways, I'm mumbling to myself. What we're going to do is we're going to do our little roll up here that we did. If you guys did the travelogue um, mini album journal, you'll know what I mean by the roll top desk effect. But I just like the visual on that this time, and I haven't seen it used on envelopes like that before. And it does provide... Um, a roll so that it stays down. And sit. Sometimes, again, when you just do the one fold, it'll sit at this angle. But by doing the roll top desk effect, it will fold on over. And um, while I was making this too, before I forget, I know, I'm getting off track again a little bit. Um, I thought that this might be a neat one you can make a bunch of these and do that spine, that Ginny Belly spine, where you could put a piece of string in here and then seal your envelope. And then you could attach a bunch of these onto the spine system, and that would be clever. That would be kind of a different look for a mini album. I've seen a lot of envelope mini albums, but this would be a different envelope design. And the neat thing about this, this too, is you've got all this decorating space on both sides if you desire to do that because there aren't any seams with this uh, method. So we've got a seamless envelope. What you're going to do now to close it is tape here, tape here, tape here, and then those two bottom sections are going to tape together. This will catch the top up here, or the bottom, whatever you want to call it. And now you've got that reinforcement down here in this area in case you want to actually bind them in somehow or another, or punch holes, or whatever you want to do. And it just allows for a little more expansion in the envelope, too. If you want to stuff that booger full... <laughs> like I do sometimes. So there you go. We have got this and this. Now I do need to trim this tag up, but I need to trim my other tag up too. And what I'm going to do, oh I forgot, I forgot the uh, punch. What you want to do on here, and I don't see it, I don't see my two hole punch. Hello, where did you go? Anyway, before you glue it, I would do a two inch hole punch here. And the little secret to doing that and getting it even, let me show you that while we're here, is you know your punch is two inches. So make a little mark one inch in from this side, make a little mark one inch in from this side, put your two inch punch. I'm not sure I had that. It would work better if I could show you. Where is it? I don't know. Anyway, let's play like this is the two-inch punch. Just stick it in, 
until you get to the halfway mark and you'll see these little lines that you've marked on either side and just line those up inside your two inch punch at the halfway point and punch and that way it'll be equidistant from both sides of your envelope there and I'll show you one here's one see how even that is just using that little method and this one has the roll top on it and I like that you could put a closure on here if you want then I took the punch the part that I'd punched out and I just put it on the tag I know you've seen that before and then I went ahead and punched holes in the top of my tag so this is what the collection will look like when it's all done here's one that I made years and years ago that's old mind's eye paper I think it was um, signature collection or wild asparagus I can't remember now but this I hand cut all these that was back in the day when we hand cut all these so that's cute too where you have the big uh, circles I think there's a punch out you know what I wonder this could almost be one of those petal punches couldn't it might try to make one of these out of the petal punch I don't have the bigger one I have the little bitty one but that might be an idea too is use the petal punch and then just design a tag that will sit down inside of it but the one we did today looks like this looks like this here we go and like I said you could set something sideways in there set it straight down inside and what I did on this one was that little triangle piece you had left over that you cut out from um, the trifold pocket I just trimmed it down and put it on here and this actually is another little pocket which is just kind of a neat little surprise so there's your little teeny tiny and this one measures three and a half inches tall and two inches wide when it's completed so that's a nice size but yet it's tiny so you can do a whole lot of things with that this one when it's all finished it measures three inch square so that's a good size to go into almost any mini album or journal and uh, make it out of your scraps too it's so small and then this is a nice size this you end up with a tag that's four by five which is good size and then you end up with space on the outside without any seams that you could put 